life, love, and pop pop culture. Hello everyone, my name is Danielle Delgado and you're watching Life, Love, and Pop Culture. I am so excited because today I'm at the finale of So You Think You Can Dance. Take okay, a look. so you had an amazing season choreography-wise. Is there a certain dance that sticks out in your mind, your favorite dances? Uh, the last piece of the night, for sure. Uh, the moment Darius and Taylor. Uh, just because of the history of the piece and, uh, I love you. Um, I've been really wanting to do this piece for about three years and I haven't had the opportunity to do it because the show is like it's not ready like, it, it, but it's not the right time you have to find the right contestant to do it I'm so glad I never did it because Darius was the perfect no one else could have anybody I've like looked back at the past seasons no one else could have done it the way he did it so I'm really excited and I was really proud of him and tonight they did it the way it was supposed to be done so the first time they did it there was a lot of mistakes and I let it go because I was like you know the impact of the piece was really um, it sent a really huge ripple through yeah. social media but tonight was just on another level and you may have thought there was mistakes the first time but I gotta tell you the first time I saw it I like wanted to cry because it can relate to anybody like there's so many people that yeah. are trying to be something and everybody's trying to change them into something that they're not yeah. so they can relate to like everybody 100% okay, you just recently posted a picture of you getting super excited for Halloween time do you have a costume in mind already you and your boyfriend planning this I, no I mean I might be working this year a lot of my friends are really bummed because there might not be a Halloween party no. um, but I don't know we'll see I mean like Halloween is a celebration all month so it's about to start it's about to go down you're like my style inspiration i mean if you could see this dress she looks amazing um give us three things that we must have in our closet <laughs> um, I stopped you. like an an, an epic bodysuit that like fits your body and works well because I feel like that can be thrown on with anything. Um, a pair of like silk pants, no, a silk dress. I'm obsessed with silk laundry's dresses right now because they're like the perfect fit and cut and just so comfortable. And um, I'm obsessed right now with these shoes. Um, there's like a resurgence of the 90s and I feel like uh, this brand by far did the this sandal that I actually wore today that is like shappy and has like a, a square toe that's just perfect. Oh my god, Nigel surprised us all today. Can we see this move? You busted out the juice. Today. Wow, it was so, so exhausting, but I'll try and do it again. It's that lovely little walk that's just what I call the old man's step. <laughs> the old man's step. No, you still got it, Nigel. I've got the juice when they told you, hey, we want you to come out in the finale. At four o'clock today, yes. No. Yeah, four o'clock today. And they even had the raincoat for me. I was so great. That, all no, of us. I don't know what it was. I felt like a dancing banana. No, but all of us backstage were like, that routine, when you came out and Twitch came out, we were like, that just gave us life uh, right now. Twitch was great, though. Twitch really nailed it. Do we know we're coming back next season? We don't know. I mean, I would like to offer them a celebrity version. Six shows, ten celebrities, ten all-stars, put them together and show them what it's like to really be challenged to dance. Oh, that's a good idea, yeah. Nigel. Just a stunt series yeah. before we do season 16 of So You Think and Dance. Oh, you have to take me to that moment when they called your name. What were you thinking? Like, how do you, how are you all, all night I keep saying, what is happening? And that's how I really feel. Like, I can't believe my dreams are a reality. And it's the best night of my life. I can't believe it. It happened. I know. It's crazy. It's crazy, right? Crazy. Did you ever think this would happen? Like, did you ever think you would honestly be on, like, on the show and then be the winner? I always speak into existence and positivity. So I always said, I'm going to be on So You Think You Dance and I'm going to win. And look, it happened. So speak into existence. It wasn't the outcome that you wanted, but I think you had an amazing season. So yes. tell me what stands out throughout the season for you. Honestly, just like being rejected and coming back and being strong and just just for myself my confidence has grown so much so i'm just i'm just so happy is there a moment that like really pushed you this season ooh i mean this is hard this is like hard so a lot of it has pushed me but last week doing the four duets i was exhausted my body was dead i was nervous about making it into the you know it was just a lot but i'm so happy oh yeah Tell. Don't touch my weave. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Top four, though. I mean, that's an accomplishment in itself. Yeah, right? it's a lot. Um, everybody keep on saying, like, last man standing. It's just, it's crazy being up here. 
going from like just you know freestyle dancer, not trained, yeah, going yeah. all the way to the end. I'm just happy that I did that. Yeah, but you killed it for being a freestyle dancer. Like you really did. You gave it your all. I did everything that I could. We started this way. We gotta end this way. How did it feel to come out and dance again? Oh my God! Listen, coming out and dancing on that stage was so many different things. It was, uh, it was exciting. <laughs> it was incredibly humbling because I was the oldest one on the stage. I'm sorry, no, no, until Nigel came on the stage, I was the oldest one on the stage. <laughs> I, mean, you guys it. I heard that like they told you guys it was, today. It was so, it was so much fun. Yes. And Luther Brown, man, shout out to Luther Brown for that incredible choreography. It feels good on the body, and man, just dancing up there with the with the energy of the future, man, it's, it just doesn't get better than that, you know. You're gonna show me the moves, though. Oh, I got you. Look. You ready for it? Look, look, this. You had a moment with Spike Lee, I believe, right? I did have a moment with Spike Lee, yes. What about this moment? Yeah. Listen, okay, here's the moment. So Spike Lee, like Spike Lee was on the Ellen Show. I work yes. on the Ellen Show on yes. the daily. And Spike Lee was on talking about his new his new film, The Black Klansman. And during a commercial break, Spike Lee himself like looked over at me, stood up, pointed at me, and then was like, I walked over to him and he called me. That's Mary Murphy right there. Y'all hear that? Hold on. That's Mary Murphy. The hot tamale train has just arrived right now. Okay? It was scheduled. I didn't know the schedule. I didn't know it was pulling in right now. Um anyway, but Spike Lee came up and he was like and he called me by my government name. He was like Steven. I was like, oh it's going down. I gotta play it cool, but Spike Lee just called me by my name. It's yeah. amazing. And, and I mean that's inspiration, you know? Amazing. That's inspiration. If you can relive this whole experience oh. over again. Would, what would you change? What would you do differently? Like, or would you keep everything the same? I would keep everything the same. It's it's in my blood. This is supposed to be my journey. I believe in this journey. I believe in my process, and I believe it turned out the way exactly the way it was supposed to. Uh, and uh, hopefully, mom is on board now. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so great. I'm sure that no matter what happens after this, you're gonna have an amazing career. I want to know what inspired Mary Murphy to get started in this industry. Well. It's kind of a long story. I'll try to make it short. And I started studying modern dance, jazz, ballet, and I still, you know, I was getting a degree in physical education and a minor in dance, but the minor came only after I fell in love with it. And I thought, well, you know, I'm going to teach dancing to kids in school. And I wanted to deal with special education and creative dance. And so I was totally down that road and I was actually in a very abusive relationship and when he was over, he was from the Middle East and when he would leave for a few months at a time, I would run into a dance studio for a summer job and fell in love with it and step by step, dancing saved my life gave me, made me feel pretty again because when you are in an abusive situation, you know, your self-esteem goes plummeting down and over the years of every time we went out of town because I wasn't allowed to work, I was able to build and build into the day that I could walk out. It's an amazing story. Wow. That's great. And you're here, Mary. <laughs> How amazing is And to think that I kept on going and I never thought that I would be become the United States champion and Austrian national champion and so, and then just when I didn't think it could get any better than that, I ended up on So You Think You Can Dance. So it's like, no, it's gone past anywhere in my wheelhouse of thinking of where I would be. But I keep dreaming now and I don't want to stop. And I want to get involved in so many projects and I, of course, all things dance. I may never be here again. I need you to give me the famous hot tamale scream. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hold on, do it with me. I'm sorry. Let's do it together. Here we go. Ready? Hey, go, Mary, go! Y'all the best right now. I'm sorry. I'm crashing interviews, but I'm going to just back on out of this thing. Let's I'm going to back on out of this thing. Crash it. You crash it. Oh. You crash it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, That's a finale not uh, inclusive uh, right now. Oh. Right. Ah. Ah. Okay, cool. Well, that's it for me on the red carpet of So You Think You Can Dance. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to tune in next time as we discuss more life, love, and pop culture. Life, love, and pop pop culture. 
If you enjoyed my interview, subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to look out for new videos every Wednesday.